So one of the questions I get asked a lot is what are the most walkable neighborhoods in Austin? You know, Austin's not really known as a walkable city, but there's some great areas that make it super convenient if you want to just head out your door, hit up a coffee shop, hit up a restaurant. So stay tuned while we give you a tour of the most walkable areas in Austin. So it's not quite like some other cities where you might do everything on foot, you know, walk to work and all your recreation, but in some of these neighborhoods you might. But what you'll definitely find is neighborhoods where all of your leisure can be accomplished without a car. From great parks, restaurants, coffee shops, bars, and neighborhood activities that are going to just be a short walk, a bike, or a scooter away. So here we are at Travis Heights in South Congress. So you can see it's a pretty active area. It's got a great mix of restaurants, local shops, and a really cool mix of new development and classic Austin charm. So this is one of the pricier walkable areas with the median home price over about $1.2 million. But within about a half a mile, you can find some great condos and townhouses under that $1 million mark. So who usually lives in this type of area? Well, it's typically gonna be somebody who's a little more affluent given the price points, but you got a lot of young professionals and really anybody who wants to be close to downtown, have the liveliness of South Congress, but also the quieter streets and that mix of cool architecture from the classic tutors and craftsmen to the super modern new construction. There's a great mix of houses and tons to do all within a short walk. So if you want a cool neighborhood vibe, you know, very convenient, close to everything and lots of places to walk to, well, Travis Heights and South Congress might be the place for you. But now let's go check out South Lamar. So this area is nestled between Zoker Park and Barton Hills, and it's just a short walk or bike ride to a lot of great parks, trendy restaurants, and everything you could want if you lived in a walkable neighborhood. If food's the way to your heart, you won't be disappointed from gourmet donuts at Gordo's to the epic sushi at Uchi to Asian-inspired barbecue at Loro or enjoying the view and sitting on the beautiful patio at Easy Tiger. So in South Lamar, you're also gonna find great shopping and live music, you know, from trendy boutiques to some of the oldest businesses in Austin. They're all right here in South Lamar. So there's also a ton of great entertainment options like live music at Saxon Pub or hitting up the iconic Broken Spoke for some dancing. So, and if you're looking for some real estate, you got a lot of great options in South Lamar, and it's gonna get you underneath that million dollar mark, but still super close to Zilker and Barton Hills. So the neighborhoods are filled with a nice eclectic mix of old and new. It's got a great mix of old Austin charm, plus trendy new places, and really undergoing a lot of development and expansion right now. So you got a lot of great options, depending if you want traditional or trendy. And actually, speaking of trendy, let's go hit our next location. So if trendy and hip is your thing, welcome to East Austin. So this area has transformed into one of the coolest areas in Austin. So want to find out what makes it special? Let's go take a look. So what's one of the coolest things about East Austin? It's got to be the food and the entertainment. This area is known for all the trendy food and cocktails and all the award-winning chefs. This is one of their first stops when they open up new restaurants. You got a lot of great choices like Laundrette or Suarte, or you could go grab a drink at Whistler's or Lucky Duck. And then there's an abundant number of choices for ramen or coffee. And for entertainment, you've got a lot of nightlife opportunities. You got live music venues, so there's always something fun to do. So let's talk about creativity. Because you know, East Austin is known as a hub for artists and entrepreneurs, and there are tons of boutiques, coffee shops, art studios, and just every kind of thing you can imagine if you're artistic or just want to embrace that artistic culture. So thinking about setting roots in East Austin, well there are a lot of housing options. From cozy little bungalows to modern new construction, there's really something for every style and every lifestyle. It's also popular to have AB units in East Austin, which usually includes a larger front house with a smaller house in the back. So if you like the idea of someone else paying part of your mortgage, there's a lot of great options in East Austin that have a modern home but also a separate rental unit as well. So finally, let's talk about the ultimate walkable neighborhood with everything you could want within just a few blocks for that ultimate walkable vibe. So the Seahome District is part of downtown Austin that really brings the old and new together with a really cool mix of substance and style. 
So what makes the Seaholm District so unique? Well, it's really, it's a mix between the historic past of Austin and its innovative future. So once industrial center centered around the Seaholm power plant, this district is now a model of sustainable urban living. And of course it's Austin, so you know food is everything. And the Seaholm District has an abundance of great restaurants all within walking distance. You've got the Austin Proper Hotel or codependent coffee and cocktails if you want a creative cocktail, or if you really love coffee, Intelligentsia Coffee is consistently rated as one of the best coffee shops in Austin. Or if you're looking for some lunch, you gotta hit meat and bread, which is really just as simple as it sounds, but arguably the best sandwiches in Austin. So what makes Seaholm so great is that you've got everything walkable, just within a couple blocks of this really dense area. So you've got all your restaurants and coffee shops, but you've also just a couple blocks to Trader Joe's, the Whole Foods flagship store and corporate offices. You've got gyms, you've got salons, you've got everything you could need just within a couple of blocks. So one of the best parts of Seaholm, it's the proximity to the lake and the Butler Trail. You've got easy access to the 10 mile uninterrupted Butler Trail for walking, running, or biking around Lady Bird Lake, or just drop your kayak or paddleboard and get out on the water. So if you like Sea Home, there's a lot of great options here. You've got high-rise luxury condos, apartments, everything with a lot of amenities and everything you could want right outside your door. So that's our quick walking tour of the most walkable neighborhoods in Austin. If you like any of those neighborhoods or you want to know anything about Austin or anything about real estate, just send me an email at info at and we'll see you next time.